Hello guys! Um, what do we have for today? And by the way, thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel and for viewing my video lessons. I hope you enjoyed them and more than enjoying my video lessons, I hope you learn from them and improve your skills in mathematics. Okay guys, um, what do we have this time? So let us check. Okay, so we have factoring polynomials with common monomial factor. Now, in factoring uh, polynomials with common monomial factor, I think there is a required skill um, from our previous um, lessons, which we can use in um, for this lesson. Okay, let us check what are these, uh, what are the required sk skills for this lesson. Okay. So we have here prime factorization. We need this skill and also the skill in finding greatest common factor or the GCF. Okay, now let's uh, let us see what is a prime factorization. So to better understand understand prime factorization, we have to define prime number. So when we say prime number, it is a counting number greater than 1, which is a product of only two factors, 1 and itself. Examples are 2, the counting numbers 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, and so on. Now, let us see how these numbers uh, become prime numbers. 2, 2 is a product of 1 and itself. There is no other uh, factors of 2 but 1 and itself. 3 is also a product of 1 and itself 3 as well as 5 and 19. So that's why we call these numbers as prime numbers. Okay, now what about prime factorization? Now, when we say prime factorization, we are actually looking for a product of prime numbers. Okay, so let's have an example. Find the prime factors of 18. Now, 18 is a composite number. No, This is not a prime number. So, 18 can be uh, written as the product of 2 and 9. 2 here is already a prime number, but 9 is a composite number. So we can still write 9 as the product of 3 and itself. No? So the prime factorization or the prime factors of 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. Okay. So we have here um, find the prime factors of 30. So, 30 again is a composite number which can be uh, expressed as a product of 2 and 15. 2 is a prime number already and 15 is yet a composite number. So, 15 can be uh, written as a product of 3 and 5. So, the prime factors of 30 is 2, 3, and 5. And 30 is a product of the prime numbers 2, 3, and 5. Okay, so next we have here the greatest common factor. So what is the greatest common factor or the commonly known as GCF? So when we say GCF, it is the greatest number which can divide two or more numbers. Okay, let's have an example. What is the GCF of 18 and 30? So 18 can be written as the product of 2 3 and 3, another 3. And 30 is also can be written as the product of the prime numbers 2, 3, and 5. Now, as you can see, 2 is a factor of 18. 2 also is a factor of 30. So, 2 is what we call a common factor of 18 and 30. So, we can write that um, down. Okay. Another number is 3. So, 3 is a factor of 18 as well as 30. So, we can have that one. 
Now three. Uh, there is still three here that is left, but there is no other three, uh, which is a factor of 30. The same time, five. Uh, is a factor of 30 but 5 is not a factor of 18 so we cannot write uh, we can bring 3 and 5 down only these two numbers 2 and 3 and the product of the two common uh, factors is 6 so our GCF is 6 okay so I think we are now ready for our um, discussion for the uh, for factoring polynomials with common monomial factor okay um, here is our example number one okay so in our example number one we have factor the binomial 6x cubed minus 15x squared so to solve we have here first to find the greatest common factor in each term. Now in 6x cubed, uh, this is can be written as the product of the prime numbers 2, 3, x, x, and x. And the second term, 15x squared, can be written as the product of prime numbers 3, 5, x, and x. And the GCF, as you can see, 3 here is a factor of 6x cubed and 3 here is a factor of 15x squared. So, 3 is common. And we have here also x okay, is a common factor of 6x cubed and 15x squared. And here is another pair of x, x's, which are also, which is also um, common factor of the two terms so we have this and the greatest common factor or the GCF is equal to the product of these prime numbers which is 3x squared okay so what is left in the in the term 15x squared is 5 so we write here 5 in 6x cubed what is left are the prime numbers 2 and x. So, we multiply 2 and x. So, that becomes 2x. Okay. Now, since this is our common monomial factor, um, we copy that one here as our common factor. And then, we also copy 2x. And we copy the operation okay minus and of course uh, what is left in the second term so we have here 5 so therefore um, 6x cubed minus 15x squared is equal to the product of 3x squared multiplied by the difference of 2x and 5 where 3x squared is the greatest common monomial factor now, we have also here an alternative solution or process. So, the same problem. Okay, in, instead of finding the GCF of the terms, we only find the uh, GCF of the um, numerical coefficient 6 and 15. 6 is equal to two, the product of prime numbers 2 and 3. 15 is also equal to the prime numbers, the product of the prime numbers 3 and 5. And as we have noticed, 3 is common factor of both 6 and 15. So, our greatest common factor is 3. Okay. So, we write here 3 initially. Then, let us notice that x here, there is an x uh, factor here and also an x factor in the second term no so it, uh, meaning x is a common factor to both terms but let us look at the degree of the um, this polynomial now this polynomial is degree 3 or x is in degree 3 and here is in the second degree 
Okay. In factoring common monomial, the variable with the smallest degree will be our greatest common factor. So in this case, x squared is the or degree two is the smallest degree of the two um, terms. So we have okay, we write here x squared. Okay, so, and then, we divide both, okay, terms by the greatest common factor, which is 3x squared. So, 6 divided by 3 is 2, and x cubed divided by x squared is, we have here, 2x. Then, we divide 15x squared by 3x squared. Then 15 divided by negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 5. Then x squared divided by x squared, the same degree, so this can be eliminated. No? Okay, I will explain uh, later for our uh, recall solution. So therefore, um, 6x squared minus 15x is equal to the product of 3x squared and the difference of 2x and 5. Now, with 3x squared as our greatest common factor. Okay, now, um, to show you how we get 2x here, 1x and x in the first degree, and we have here 0 degree. Okay, let us recall your um, lesson on uh, division of monomial. Okay. So, we have here x cubed divided by x squared. Now, here in the numerator, our exponent is 3. And in the denominator, our exponent is 2. Or this is degree 3 and this is degree 2. Now, since the highest degree is in the numerator, we subtract from there. No? So, we subtract uh, 2 from 3. Or we have here 3 minus 2. Then, all over one okay it's understood that there is um denominator of one here okay so x raised to the power of three minus two is one okay all over one okay that is simply equal to x that is how we get to x in our um problem now here we have x squared divided by x squared as you can see the same um, uh, degree so we can subtract uh, 2 minus 2 or we can subtract 2 from 2 here then divided by 1 the result is x raised to 0 over 1 now take note um, we have you have learned uh, previously that any number raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So, 1 divided by 1 equals 1. So, that's why uh, we have 15x squared divided by 3x squared is actually 5 equal to the product of 5 and 1, which is equal simply equal to 5. Okay? So, that was it. Our example number 1. Then, we will prepare for our example number 2. Okay, so what we have is factor the binomial negative 6ay plus 20by. Okay, so for our solution, we have for step 1, factor out negative 1. Then this is how we, uh, this is the result in factoring negative 1. Again, um, to factor negative 1, so we write here negative 1, then negative 6ay divided by negative 1 is positive 6ay. Then again, 20, positive 20by divided by negative 1, that's why we have here minus 20by. Okay, so step 2. Find the GCF in each term. For 6xy, we have here the product of 
the prime numbers 2, 3, A, and Y. And for 20XZ, it's the product of the prime numbers 2, 2, 5, B, Y. Okay? Now, as you can see again, 2 here is a common factor of 6XY and 20XZ as well as Y. Y is a common factor of 6XY and 20XZ. So the greatest common factor is 2Y or the product of 2 and Y. And the remaining factors here, uh, we get the product of the remaining factors. We have 3A and in here we have the remaining factors are 2, 5 and B so that becomes uh, 10B. Okay? So, since this is our common factor, and earlier we have uh, factored out negative 1, so our common factor now is um, negative 2y. And, and then we copy the product of the remain remaining factors in the first um, term. Okay, then minus the product of the remaining um, factors of the second term. Okay, so the factor, uh, the complete factor of the binomial negative 6ay plus 20by is equal to negative 2y multiplied by the difference of 3a and 10b okay so for our alternative process we have okay again uh, factor out negative 1 then step 2 find the GCF of 6 and 20 so 6 and 20 the greatest common factor is 2 okay and then Okay, 2 is the greatest common factor of the two um, coefficients and we have already factored out negative 1 earlier. So we have here, okay, negative 2 is the common factor of the coefficient 6 and 20. Now let's look at here, y is common to the first term and also to the second term. So that's why y also a common factor. So the common monomial factor of this um, polynomial is negative 2y. Then from which, okay, we divide the first term negative 6ay by negative 2y. The quotient is positive 3a. And um, the quotient of 20, positive 20by, and negative 2y is negative 10b. Okay? So, okay. So, negative 6ay plus 20by is factored completely by. Uh, this expression negative 2y multiplied by um, 3a minus 10b okay so that's it for our example number two let's look at here okay so number three problem is to factor the trinomial negative a at x negative 8x squared plus 20x minus 4 so the solution is okay so again our uh, first term is or our yes our first term or leading term is a negative so we factor out the negative one so that's the result of uh, negative factoring out negative one 
Okay, so number two, step two, find the greatest common factor of the three terms. So 8x squared is equal to uh, 2 times 2 times 2 times x times x. Okay, so the prime factors of 20x is uh, equal to 2 times 2 times 5 times x and the prime factors of 4 um, 2 times 2 okay so the greatest common factor of the three terms okay look at here 2 is common to the 3 terms and another 2 here is a common factor of the 3 terms. Okay, so we have here. Okay, now x cannot become a common factor because in the third term for there is no x. Okay, so our greatest common factor is um, equal to positive 4. Okay. So, ag again, we multiply the remaining uh, factors here. So, 2 times x times x is equal to 2x squared. Then, 5 times x, 5 times x equals 5x. And 4 here, okay, so understood to have a factor of 1. No, so it's not zero. There is one as a factor. Okay, so that's why we have here one. The next we have our common factor is four here, and we have already earlier factored out negative one. So, okay, the greatest common factor of the trinomial is um, negative four. And then, copy the remaining, uh, the product of the remaining factor of the of 8x squared. We have 2x squared. Then, okay, so minus, we copy the operation here, and 5x, then plus, positive 1 okay so therefore negative 8x squared plus 20x minus 4 is factored completely by the product of negative 4 and 2x squared minus 5x plus 1 okay now for our alternative process we have okay, again in step 2, we only get the, the um, greatest common factors of the numerical coefficient 8, 20, and 4. Okay, so 8, the prime factorization of 8 is 2 times 2 times 2, 20, is 2 times 2 times 5 4 is 2 times 2 only okay so again um, 2 is common to a common factor of 8 20 and 4 and another 2 a common factor also of the numbers 8 20 and 4 so our greatest common factor is 4 Okay, so, okay, so our greatest common factor now is negative 4 since we have already factored out negative 1. Okay, so we divide the first term negative 8x squared by negative 4. Okay, equals. positive 
2x squared and actually here the 2 is also this one okay another is positive 20 divided by negative 4 the quotient is negative 5x and again negative 4 divided by negative 4 is um, positive 1 okay so negative 8x squared plus 20x minus 4 is equal to the product of negative 4 and the trinomial 2x squared minus 5x plus 1 with negative 4 as its greatest common monomial factor. Okay? Okay, now for our final example, we have example number 4. Okay, so factor the trinomial 4a squared b cubed minus 9a b squared c raised to the power of 4 minus 6b raised to 4 times c cubed. Okay, so to solve, step 1, we find the greatest common factor of each term. So we have 4a squared b cubed c is equal to the product of prime numbers 2 times 2 times a times a times b times b times b and times c. For the term 9a b, b squared c raised to the power of 4 is equal to the product of the prime numbers 3 times 3 times a times b times b times c times c times c and times c okay the third term which is 6 b raised to the power of 4 times c cube is equal to the product of prime numbers 2 3 b b b b c c and c okay now let's look at here 2 here is not a common factor because there is no 2 as a factor of this term 3 also is not uh, a common factor because in the first term, there is no 3 as a factor. So, the same as A. But here, B is a common factor of the 3 terms. Another B is a common factor. And C also, we have one, uh, we have C here as a common factor of both um, terms. So, the greatest common factor of our polynomial is equal to b squared c. Okay, so the remaining uh, the remaining factors we have here two two a a and b. The product is four a squared b. And the remaining factors of so the second term, which are 3, 3, A, C, 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 um, is equal to 9, A, C, cubed. And in the third factor, the remaining um, factors are 2, 3, uh, B, B, C, and C. So we have here equal to 6, B squared, C, squared okay now okay so b squared c is our common factor then we copy 4a squared 
B. Then, the operation is minus, then copy the product of the, the uh, product of the remaining factors of the second term. And again, the operation is minus and copy this one. Okay. So, the polynomial is factored completely by b squared c multiplied by 4a squared b minus 9ac cubed minus 6b squared c squared. Okay? So, that's how we solve example number 2. Now, for the alternative process, we have here the same problem, but we have a different way of um, solving it. So, the prime factors of 4 are 2 and 2. 9 uh, is equal to 3 times 3. 6 is equal to the product of 2 and 3. Now, as you can see, 2 is not a common factor because there is no uh, 2 here. There is no 2 as a factor of 9. 3 here is not also a common factor because there is no factor of 4 that is 3. So therefore, there is no greatest common factor. Okay. So let us continue. Now let us look at here. B, there is B here in the first term. There is also B in the second term. And there is also B in the third term. Okay. Now let's look at the degree of uh, the variable B. Here, the degree of B is in the third degree. In the second term, the degree of B is in the second degree. Here is third degree, second degree. And here, B is in the fourth degree. Now, we choose B squared since B squared is uh, the smallest degree of the three variables. This will become our common factor. Okay? So, B squared is our common factor. So, which we are going to use to divide all of the terms. But, let's look at here. C is also common. But, in the first term, C is in the first degree. In the second term, C is in the fourth degree. And in the third term, C is in the third degree. Okay. Now, C here in the first term has the lowest degree. So, we will use this. The lowest, uh, the variable with the lowest degree will be used as the common factor. Okay. So, we have here now B squared C as our common factor and we use that one to divide all the three terms okay so b squared c is our common factor 4a squared b cubed c is divided by b squared c is equal to okay 4a squared 3 minus 2 is 1 so that's why we have here b left in the first degree and C divided by C is 1 so we do not write uh, C anymore then we have minus 9 a B squared C raised to the power of 4 divided by B squared C is 9ac cube. Okay, b squared divided by b squared is 1. So we eliminate this um, factor. So then c raised to the power of 4 divided by c is equal to c cube because 4, the exponent 4 here minus 
understood uh, C here is understood to have one as its exponent. So four minus one is three. Then minus six b raised to the power of four c cubed divided by b squared c. Okay, the quotient is six b squared c squared. Okay, b here is in the fourth degree. In the denominator, b is in the second degree. So, 4 minus 2 is 2. c also here is in the third degree. And c here is in the first degree. So, 3 minus 1, understood to have 1 as its exponent. So, the quotient is c squared. Okay. So, that is the complete factor b squared c multiplied by 4a squared b minus 9ac cubed minus 6b squared c squared are the complete factors of uh, the trinomial with b squared c as its greatest common monomial factor. Okay? So that's how we solve um, how we do factoring common monomial factors.